Burke is really unmatched and uh, uh, there won't be any, any alderman like him any time in the future. Those, those old school aldermen are, 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 are kind of a thing of the past. Former alderman of the 49th Ward, Joe Murr, speaking out tonight about the end of an era. He knew the rule book and he knew where the bodies were buried. Um, he was uh, certainly probably the most influential and one of the most powerful aldermen in Chicago history, cer certainly during the time uh, of my life. After more than half a century at the helm of the 14th Ward, Ed Burke won't be on the election ballot in February after deciding not to file nominating petitions ahead of today's 5 p.m. deadline. Uh, when he didn't file on the first day, I, I, it was pretty clear that he was uh, not going to file. During his decades in office, there have been many high-profile ups and downs for Burke. Ed Burke certainly was a very visible presence, uh, presence back during council wars. And as noted by WGN's political analyst Paul Lisnick, even some unusual recognitions. Ed Burke, I believe, actually won an award for being best dressed at one time, always seen in fine suits, always with a pocket scarf always very concerned about how he looked. But the last four years have been clouded by a federal investigation. When history writes the story of Ed Burke, obviously the legal troubles that he found himself in currently and in the past several years will certainly be part of that story. Authorities raided his offices back in 2018, prompting a 14-count indictment on federal racketeering and extortion charges. The bottom line is, how do you serve effectively as an alderman for the 14th Ward when so much of your attention is spent in court dealing with all, these evidence, all the evidence for months and months? It just wouldn't have been practical for him to do. The raid led to Burke being ousted as head of the Finance Committee with a trial looming over his legacy next November. Ultimately, uh, history will be the judge. And I think history will note both the good things he's done and perhaps some of the mistakes he's made. Next year will mark 54 years for Ed Burke at the helm of the 14th Ward, making him the city's longest serving alderman. We couldn't reach him tonight for comment, but while he didn't file his nominating petitions today, two other candidates did for that ward. They are Helu Gutierrez and Raul Reyes. We're on the city's southwest side tonight. Rona Tumulty, WGN News.